Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgan 111, and welcome back to Spelunky 2. I think there's new music in here. Maybe because I have so many NPCs? This definitely sounds like new music to me. And over here, I think things look the way that they used to. Oh, and there's a butterfly in here. Interesting. I had not seen anything come out of the pots before. All right. Oh, and there's a little snail here too. So maybe this has to do with different regions that you've been to because the snail is associated with Volcano, which is where we got the robot, I think. Maybe. It seems plausible. In any case, uh, let's play some Spelunky. Last time I successfully robbed the black market. Today, I would like to get past Olmec again and try to unlock the next shortcut. Because I think I've given uh, Tunnel Mama or whatever her name is two different things. I fear that the next thing she's going to want is a gold key. <laughs> because in Spelunky 1, I think that's what you needed. Uh, sure, we'll spend a rope on Damsa Doggy. And if that's the case, then I think basically it means that I'm gonna get to her once, not have the key with me, and then have to figure out a way to get the key all the way down there. But rather than just assume that that's the case, I think let's get down there and find out what she wants first. That's assuming I can even get back there because I still have only reached Olmec a very small number of times. So let's try to play well and get to Olmec. I think I have it in me. That said, it is late at night right now in real life when I'm recording, which doesn't usually bode well for my play. Um, but yeah, I had a nap this afternoon and was in the mood to play now, and even though it's late, we'll see how it goes. All right, what do we got here? Bombs, great. In that case, I'm going to choose not to rob the shop, and instead I'm going to buy the compass. Oops. Don't mind me. This is the button to buy the compass. And now I'm going to buy ropes. <laughs> because I accidentally just spent another rope. Okay. Everything's good. Everything's fine. Shopkeeper is not angry because we have paid for stuff like a good shop person. And I hear turkeys. Could be good. Uh, there's a turkey, there's a turkey. Everywhere a turkey, turkey. Okay, almost at the turkey. I think let's ride the turkey, but before we ride the turkey, let's get rid of you. There we go. Oh, there's a spider who's gonna find his way over here in just a moment. I think. Maybe not. I will feel more comfortable about the spider after doing that. <laughs> We'll ride the turkey into the next level, so that we might be able to cook up said turkey then? Question mark? I don't need to rob that shop. Uh, that guy's gonna die. Terrific. Damsel doggy. The key's on this level somewhere. It would be effort. I could rescue the damsel. It actually wouldn't be that much effort, because I can do this. And that makes it easier to get to the damsel. Yeah, all right. Uh, turkey, I'll come back for you in just a second. Oops, comes a doggy. There we go. Okay. So, if I were a key... Oop! Okay, I did not mean to fall that far. If I were a key, where would I be? I see the key. And does this get to the exit eventually? It looks like it does. So I can bring Damsel Doggy down there as I go fetch the key. And then, if I brought the turkey down, I think I would be able to save a rope. So I guess I might as well ride the turkey down. And then ride him back up. Okay, so let's drop off the damsel first, I suppose? Question mark? Uh, that's good enough. The damsel can hang out over there. Then let's go get the key. All right, so I'm gonna wait for this thing to do a little bounce right there, and I'm gonna go here. Uh, I still wanna ride the turkey. 
because I think the turkey will help me get back up here. Maybe, maybe not. Um, let's just spend a rope. I'm pretty sure it was up here. Sure, whatever. Can I make it here? Ugh. Um, let's just spend another rope. And I guess technically the Ujat Eye isn't strictly necessary because I might skip the black market since the goal is just to get to Olmec and pass to Olmec. Uh, we'll see what I actually decide to do. But I just want to go ahead and call out now that I might skip Olmec. Okay. That's nice. Damsel Doggy, let's get you to the exits. Uh, looks like you should be safe if I do that. Um, let's get rid of this guy. Wake up, porn lizard. I'm gonna jump on your head. Thank you. Okay. And let's get rid of you, and let's ride the turkey forward again, because he still hasn't had a chance to cook him. And maybe we will get that chance on this level, question mark? Seems kind of unlikely, doesn't it? Um, that bat's gonna be a pain on the turkey, so I think I'll step down off the turkey. And at this point, if the turkey dies, I don't care that much. Something that just occurred to me, I've never discovered if the mounts uh, keep track of their damage between levels. They do, because the turkey had only taken one damage previously on this level, and that was just damage number two. Um, all right, so we learned a thing. Because the turkey had a damage on a previous level, I think. And the turkey is an object that I could throw at this guy. So let's do that. And, oh, the turkey disappeared? That's interesting. And I think I don't need to kill Quill back. I've already done what I set out to do. Did I see the exit? There's a spider, but he's not right above the exit, so I think I should be safe. All right, so we have not robbed shops, which could work out in our favor. Yeah, I think for getting to Olmec, not robbing shops might be the way to go. Although, hmm, I won't have many upgrades to get through the jungle, but if I'm just trying to get through the jungle, yeah, I guess we'll find out how it goes. I'll bring an object in case it helps me. Do I want a hired hand? They're mostly helpful, I think. I don't have spike boots. That's a thing that could definitely hurt me here. Ah, darn it. Oh, thank you. Look, hired hand's already being useful. Do I want paste? I don't feel strongly about it. And it looks like I'm gonna get it anyway, because it looks like my hired help. All right, let's see if I can finish off the spider. Oh, he's got me trapped. Okay. Cool, I got it. Neat. And I have this awesome corpse, which I can use to obtain a boomerang. A boomerang is a good weapon. Oops. Okay. Well, that guy is dead, but I took some damage, but I did get my boomerang. And I got a very good look at that trap right there. But yeah, I like the boomerang a lot. I think with the boomerang, I might be able to make it through the jungle. I'm not sure if this monkey... Okay. And I do see the trap right there, so I'm gonna choose to do that. And I see the little spiky trap that's closed over there. I'm just gonna do that. And I see that trap there. So many traps. This guy will certainly wake up, but we can just kill him like that. And I think I can stun you like this. Well, that didn't work the way I wanted. Can I jump over this guy? I'm not sure that I can. But what I could do... Haha, -ha, maybe... Is this? Oh, that stunned him. Alright, that's good enough. With the stun... Okay, don't hit the trap. Oh crap! <laughs> okay. Oh, darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it. <laughs> there was a lot happening there. I panicked a little bit. Let's try this again. Good. 
Ah, oh, I thought I could get enough of a bounce off the snake that I was going to be able to get up here. Which is why I said good when there was an enemy inside the jar. Alright, there's the damsel. Yeah, let's just try to go quickly. Like, if all I'm trying to do is get to Olmec, I think I can maybe do it quickly. It is worth spending a bomb to go after a crate. So we got more bombs, great. And then I need this so that I can drop it down here. Okay, that's already gone off apparently. There's the arrow. All right, we're through that. Your voice echoes in here. This is one reason that I wanted to unlock Seated Runs, which I still have not done, and don't know exactly how I will do. But I want to understand what your voice echoes in here means, and I don't know that I can do that without being able to replay the level over and over, and try to see like if there's like a secret backside area with something, or I don't know what. That's kind of my best guess. Oop, yuck. Oh, yuck, I, mm. I'm not playing especially well. Also, there's a bug flying around my room and so I'm a little bit distracted by that. I might have to stop and try to kill said bug because he is quite the distraction. Some people blame the controller. I blame the bug. Yeah. Okay, let me take a quick break. Okay, I'm back. Let's see if we can put together a good run. Ah, uh, that's a little scary. But it's fine. There's a dog. Dog is gonna take an arrow. That's fine. We can then try to rescue the dog. Ooh, there's a turkey on this level. That would be good to try to get. Uh, this is not the way to try to get it, though. All right, damsel doggy, run down there. Turkey on 1-1, one -one. how unusual. Uh, turkey, you hang out over there, too, until I do this. And then, let's see, I need to pick up the dog. Ride the turkey. Ugh. There we go. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. The bug, I thought I killed it. I didn't kill it. He's still in the room. Hold the phone. All right, I lost track of the bug again. We will just try to play this out and see how it goes. <sighs> I have 4,500. How much? I could buy the boomerang. I could buy bombs. I like the boomerang a lot. So let's try the boomerang. Uh, I just realized the key is up there. Let's skip the key. Let's not worry about the black market. I can throw the boomerang while I'm on the turkey. That's useful information. Yeah, boomerangs are very cool. Uh, sadly, I'm no longer on the turkey. <laughs> the turkey has fallen away. All right, so yeah, let's just try to move. We're gonna go swiftly. How does the boomerang work against you? Not that great because of your jumping ability. All right, so let's just not worry about that then. Uh, Mole can't get through the wood, so we're actually kind of safe here. Can drop this off here. Okay, this is gonna be the boomerang of destiny. Uh, let's see, I can hit you like this and then just get by you. Ooh, the boomerang hit him again, nice. Boomerang is good. Like, even throwing at an angle, it was coming back to me. That's pretty great. 
I think you never have to go through Yang shop in order to get to the exit. I'm not sure why I think that, but as a result, I'm choosing to go this way. Another dead turkey. Oh, I don't have a way to set on fire conveniently right now. Damsel might be rescuable, however. Yeah, Damsel's totally rescuable, so let's just do this. And, ooh, there's a Kali altar, though. Hmm. I just accidentally fell down. <sighs> and there's some nice things to buy there, too. How much money do I have right now? Only 6,000. I think the box of bombs costs 12,000. And the jetpack probably costs nearly as much as well. Let's just not worry about it. I'm gonna have a fast run. I'm gonna use the boomerang. I wonder how boomerang works against Quillback, actually. Hmm. On the one hand, I want to get to Olmec. On the other hand, oh, my boomerang. Uh, I could totally get it. Great. Oh, my boomerang. I can totally get it back. <laughs> and I guess I can just climb out of here, right? Yeah. <sighs> I feel like I gotta do the science. But I don't want to do the science. I want to get to Olmec. But I want the science. <laughs> How far does this throw? It's longer than that. I think it does throw enough range. Yeah, where I could hit him. Okay. I got multiple hits on him there, actually. I might be able to kill him this way. Darn it. Darn it. I totally could have killed him that way, but I missed the ladder. And now I'm not sure where we are in an episode, because I broke up my recording. All right, we're gonna try one more really quick run. And we'll see how it goes today. And if it goes poorly, then sometimes Dems to breaks. And I probably asked for it by recording this late at night. And since we're so close to the exit, we're gonna do this so that we have extra money so that we can try to buy stuff from shops along the way. Uh, let's see. There is a Kali altar. If Damsel Doggy's near the top, we'll sacrifice him to get an item. And if he's not, then we won't. Oh, yikes, okay. Oh, I'm taking stupid damage. This is not good. Oh, so much damage. All right, only hope I think now is to cook a turkey. And probably also rescue the damsel. So we'll ride this turkey. Uh, I want to try this. Darn it. Okay. I don't know if there's a way to, while you're riding the turkey, fall through the platform and then control the turkey to float down, like you float down with the cake and the cape and the spikes. I said that was going to be the last run, but now it's not the last run. <laughs> but this one probably is. All right, let's really try to go at top speed. I do see the mole. I do see the damsel, who could bring my health back up, especially if I manage to avoid the mole. Good job, damsel doggy. Okay, we're through 1-1 in 30 seconds. If we can do all the levels that fast, just imagine how quickly we could make it to Olmec. Okay, don't want that. Do want the damsel. And I guess if I'm not going to get the key for the black market, I could try to carry the key all the way to the end. That's like a thing I could do. I do think there's a way to jump in this guy's head super high. Is it when he jumps that you can go super high? Or when he's rolling? Well, he's not going to be jumping or rolling here, is he? He's just going to be dying. We'll try once more. I missed it. All right, we'll just do this. I'll see if I can carry the key to Olmec, just in case it's what we need. Oh, of course. Why wouldn't it be a dark level? All right, we will juggle these two items. We might have the opportunity 
set a turkey on fire somewhere along the way. Uh, quick peek. Oh, spike shoes. Gonna buy those. Definitely gonna buy the spike shoes. Alright, let's make sure that this spider web is all out of the way. Oh, I don't have enough? I'm still short. Yuck. Um, I can't rob the shopkeepers and carry the key. Alright, we're gonna go without the spike boots, I think. I could try to collect the money, but not going to. So let's do that. This guy's gonna wake up. Now he's dead. The mole is scary. I'm gonna throw this over here. I can get some light over here. All right, mole's very scary. In case you weren't sure. <laughs> Crap, okay. Okay, everything's fine. Oh, hey, turkey. The amazing turkey of destiny. Hello, amazing turkey of destiny. Did you know how amazing you were? All right. Thank you, amazing turkey of destiny. Um, is there any chance I'm going to want the torch again? I think yes. Because I want to be able to see my way to the exit better. Oh, and there's another turkey. How great is that? The correct answer is very great. We're going to be careful with the lizard. Oh no! Uh, young! Young! No, no, no. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up. Young saw the turkey. And what I did to the turkey. And he did not like it. Alright, but we got out. Everything's fine. <laughs> oh man. This game is fun from the point of view of just the chaos that can ensue. There's a lot of chaos. Not gonna lie. All right, let's deal with this guy if we can. Oh boy. Okay, key is down there. I don't know, that's when you get the super high bounce. It's when he's rolling and bounces underneath your feet then you get the super high bounce. There might be other ways to activate it, but that is definitely a way to activate it. So now I know. All right, I need to try some things and stuff. Does he destroy the key when he's rolling? I'm not sure if he does. So I feel like I better do this. Okay, he's gone the places I want him to go. Come roll again. And now I can ignore him. I see the spider in the ceiling. Great. All right. So now we're just gonna try to carry a key through the jungle because I'm just that crazy. And yeah, I have enough money where I could buy some nice things. So let's not worry about getting all the money. Health would be the most useful thing. Not sure where we're gonna get that. Okay. We're in the jungle. There's an incessant buzzing. Yuck. This does not bode well. Let's do rescue the hired hand. Oh, he could help carry the key potentially too. So long as he's alive. Oh, he's gonna anger the spider, isn't he? Well, that was the end of that. And now there's an angry spider afoot. The spider is okay, the spider's walking against the um spider's gonna kill himself against the Well, maybe he's not. Maybe the spider is too smart for that. Okay. I'm probably gonna die here. 
Oh, the spider died there. Uh, can I do this? No. Okay. Everything's fine. Everything's great. Everything's going terrific. Just like we planned it. Oh boy. How am I going to deal with that monkey? I think the correct thing is to bait him out. Yes. Okay. It's a good move. That's my Spelunky expertise. Showing itself off. And I can just run to the exit. Okay. This is what we're trying to do. We're trying to run to exits. Uh, this is just parsley, I think, probably. Could give me bombs at Olmec, which could be useful. So let's definitely take a moment. Do a little rescue. Moon challenge. There's a tiny chance of an object in there, but I don't think it's worth it. Let's run past the trap. Bug is flying around the room again, and gosh darn it. And just killed me. Thanks, Bug. Ugh. All right, today was just not my day. Oh, there's the bug. I just killed it. It landed in my lap and I smashed it in my lap. <laughs> well, that was the story of the bug. It met a tragic end. Oh, it's not quite dead. Die, bug, die. <laughs> it's just a little fly. Um, Yeah, I don't know if I will scrap this recording entirely because nothing happened. <laughs> You'll see. Or you won't. It's crazy.